should I practice piano every day? Are you not getting the results that you want? Hi, I'm Jaser, and I'm here to answer the question, how long should I practice piano? Let's go. The first thing I wanna talk about today is consistency. Consistency is so important when it comes to improving in your piano learning. Let's say you set yourself to practice one hour daily. Make sure you are actually practicing one hour every day as opposed to squeezing all that practice into that one day before your lesson. For example, if your lesson's on Thursday, don't cram six hours onto Wednesday. It just doesn't work as well as compared to practicing one hour every single day of the week. And there's a really good reason for this. That's because you need to sleep on your practice to get better at it the next day. It's a really funny thing that happens. When you do your practice for the day, sometimes you realize like nothing really gets in after a while, but the moment you take a nap or the moment you sleep for the night and you come back the next day, suddenly the things that you're learning suddenly goes into your hands and you start to be able to perform them without you consciously knowing you've jumped that hurdle. So remember, spread out your practice over the, over the week because what you wanna do is to practice in little blocks, sleep on it, and it will grow better the next day. And if you do this consistently for every day of the week, you're gonna see some massive improvements over the year. There's a study that showed that students who practice 15 minutes uh, a day for five days a week eventually gave up lessons a lot more than students who practice 30 minutes a day for five days in their week. And there's a good reason for that. When you're practicing not a whole lot, guess what happens to your progress? It's not gonna be very good, it's not gonna be a lot. So what happens is you put in all this time and effort and money into your piano lessons and you realize you're not getting that much from it over the weeks and the months because you're not putting the time into practicing before you go back to your piano lessons. Remember, the magic of piano lessons happen at home. The magic of piano lessons happen at home. What that means is when you go to your lesson, you, you get feedback and you get knowledge from your teacher and what you're supposed to do when you go back is to practice all these things so that by the next lesson you are ready to go, you're ready to receive new wisdom and new techniques and new ideas for your next week's practice. When you go for a piano lesson, you gotta know that that piano lesson is only effective if you go home and you put in the work daily before your next lesson comes. The next thing I wanna talk about is the quality of your practice. A great violinist once said, practice with your fingers and you'll need all day. Practice with your mind and you'll get it done in one and a half hours. Now the message behind this quote is that when you sit on the piano to practice, be really aware that your time spent there is extremely mindful time and not mindless time. When you sit on the piano, be aware not to play through your music for the entire hour without really realizing what you're doing, if that makes sense. I see students do this all the time where they practice through their piece and I can see that they're not giving real thought into what can I do better here? Perhaps that's a forte and that's a piano. Am I bringing this part out? Am I bringing that part out? They're not having mindful thought processes about their practice. They're sort of just running it through for the sake of practice. I want you to think real in-depth into your practice. Ask yourself some critical questions. What can I do better here? Perhaps this section I'm not so good at. Why don't I do this section 10 times now before I move on to the next part? Ask yourself critical questions every time when you practice. Try not to run through the piece for the sake of running through the piece. In conclusion, I think that your practice time is gonna really depend on your life situation and your commitments to a variety of things. But my recommendation to students is that they practice every day for at least the length of their lessons. So if Tom has a one hour lesson every Friday, I'm gonna expect that Tom by next Friday that he's locked in six or seven hours worth of practice. Cause he will, let's say if he doesn't practice on Friday, um, I will expect him that from Saturday till next Thursday, he would have practiced six days, so six hours worth of practice before he comes back. So I hope that's been helpful for you. Keep up the practice because the practice is gonna lead you to greatness. When you do your practice consistently, over time, you're gonna see some really great things happen for you with piano. So just stay on to it. Great things are coming your way. How long do you practice the piano every day? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to find out a little bit about your piano life. My name is Jaser, remember to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in the next video.